would support the Kemp Caston bill, which is very similar to the Bradley Gephardt bill. Uh, one of the biggest changes, it's a little lower rate, mm -hmm. uh, presumably grabs even more uh, deductions, and, uh, and has the indexing feature. And I think that's very important. You've heard a lot of numbers like uh, uh, no one at $11,200 family of four won't, will pay no tax under, this, under the Bradley Gephardt bill. Mm -hmm. But 11,200 uh, 10 years from now may be uh, quite a different number than it is today, and we need to change that. Uh, these brackets that kick in, it is not a flat rate tax. There are three brackets in it. Mm -hmm. There's some lumpiness there. And as you jump from a 14% to a 26 uh, or whatever, uh, uh, I guess what I'm getting at is that uh, it, with enough time and enough kind of chronic inflation, even at a low rate, mm -hmm. Uh, virtually everybody would be in these higher brackets. And we want to be very concerned that the brackets not change. They've already, Bradley Gephardt has already raised the rates over what it was a year ago. What, uh, let me stop you. What about, what about indexing? The President Reagan's pla uh, tax system, as currently written, has a, um, I guess you would call a self-regulating mechanism where, maybe we should sure, explain yeah, no, indexing, or do you want to do it? You can do it. Go well, ahead. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it right. How about we turn to our <laughs> economists and have you do it? Explain indexing for those people well, like me who don't know much about it's it. Simply that you will you will change the thresholds. For example, under this bill, the thresholds at which the you you move from a 14 percent rate to a 26 or whatever the current rate is, and to a 30. That that in other words, if you get simply a cost of living increase that just keeps up with inflation, you don't tax that as though it's real income. I was making the same point about capital gains. In other words, you tax you only get into a higher bracket if your real earning your power real goes earning. up. Exactly. Right. All right. Let me let me say that uh, you know, last week we had a vote on indexing in uh, the Senate. We have a system now with a lot of rates. The vote was whether we delay indexing. I said, no, let's not delay indexing. When you got a lot of rates, you have it's some justification for it. But what we did was to actually bite that bullet and say, look, we're only going to have three rates, not 13 or 14 rates. So you're not going to have the phenomenon of the last 10 to 15 years where slight increases in salary pushed you into the higher tax bracket. And then the other point is that if you take it what we, what we do to what's called the standard deduction and the basic exemption, under an index system, you'd get a 5% increase in that, basically. What we mm -hmm. do is the exemption, we increase 60%. And a standard deduction for couples, we increase over 70%. So that we've already gotten an awful lot of benefit that you could not get under a system such as the one we have now where you just have incremental things with indexing. So fewer rates and a big jump in the standard deduction and exemption is a way that we lessen the problem that indexing in the present system is intended to cope with. You have been promoting this bill and it's been evolving over the last couple of years. What kind of... We've been changing the tax laws about every year lately and sort of an ad hoc fashion and adding confusion and uncertainty to the point.